Congrats, area. congrats, La Vista. Thank uh, you. What was the celebration like, and where were you? Who'd you have? And uh, how how uh, surprised were you to go, or probably not surprised were you to go uh, this high in the second round? You said, what was the ending you said? How is this about where you expected to go? Or I mean, I know you had maybe even maybe first round hopes. Um, definitely have first round hopes, but I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Um, I understand everything happens for a reason, but I mean, I'm just ready to work, to be honest. Um, that's really all it is to that. And how much do you pride yourself on your physicality? Obviously, 44 broken tackles. Um, that's how I live my life, being tough. Um, and I take it to the field. So anytime you see me, you're going to see me being tough. Uh, Mike DiRocco? Hey, how you doing? Hey. You, um, I, I read the letter you wrote in, in the Players' Tribune, and, and you – wrote in there that you really consider yourself a football player, not just a wide receiver. Um, can you talk a little bit about, you know, why you kind of have that philosophy? Uh, I think I'm an athlete. Um, I think I can move around everywhere and, and do anything that's at task, um, you know, and just and, – and dominate in different places and do what everyone loves. You also said in there that you compare yourself to a mix of Jarvis Landry, Larry Fitzgerald, and Julio Jones. Uh, that's an interesting mix. Can you can you kind of describe that? Um, I say Jarvis Landry because like everyone knows, like he plays with that like dog mindset, um, that dog mentality, and he say it, he say it, um, and he make it known. Um, he's not a, like a big receiver at all. Um, it's not about his size. It's just about the the attitude he played with and how aggressive he played with. Um, and I think I do the same thing. Then Larry Fitzgerald, um, he's just like a business person. Uh, when he get on the field, you already know he's strictly about business. Um, he's going to get the job done. Julio Jones, he's just a freak. Um, and he can do anything, do everything. We've seen him do everything. So that's just that can do everything type of guy. And I think I can do the same thing. Thanks, Mike. Uh, we'll go to Hayes. Hey, LaVisca, congratulations. Uh, how much are you looking forward to playing with Gardner Minshew? And what do you know, if anything, about Gardner Minshew? Uh, I'm excited. Um, I can't wait. Um, just ready to get that bond um, together. And, and it all starts with the bond. So, and I can't wait to um, definitely, definitely get on the field. Um, um, you said, what was the other question about that? Did you follow a lot of the Minshew mania? Did you keep up with that last year? Um, I did not as much, but I know when he started playing, it was just, he definitely made a mark. Um, but I didn't keep that much attention um, to, towards it. Great. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, Hayes. We'll go to John Reed next. Congratulations. Um, can you tell us just your motivation and, uh, you know, and how much did it, has it changed you? I mean, I know your father passed and, how did that – I mean, is that your motivation? And, and what's the correlation with the dreads? I think something about the, the, the dreadlocks related to that. Um, I think it's just part of my motivation. Um, I think I have a couple of motivational things um, to the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, and my dreadlocks, um, when my dad died, I just decided not to um, cut them no more. Um, and I like them, of course. Um, <laughs> my fashion. Part of my fashion, at least. Um, what 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 it means to you putting putting all this together to tonight? I mean, I know Mark asked you about who was with you, but when when you look at what your motivations has been for years and see that you made this point in in tragedy and those kind of things that you went through, what 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 it means to you tonight to to reach this plateau, of being in the NFL and and, and got I've obviously got more to prove. Um, I think it's just a another door open, um, just another level unlocked. Um, there's plenty more levels to it, so, and I'm not stopping right now. I'm just going to keep on leveling up, and it's all actions. Congratulations, my man. Thank you. Thanks, John. We'll go to uh, John Osher, Gene, and then Demetrius. Um, I know you scored six rushing touchdowns as a sophomore. 
Is that something you think can translate to the NFL? And I know the Jaguars see with some jet sweep, stuff like that. Is that something you look forward to doing? Most definitely. Um, I love getting the ball anywhere I can create mismatches. Um, and I love getting the ball in my hands when it's right off the snap, too. Uh, that's just what I like to do. I like to um, gain those yards. Um, it don't have to be easy. It can be hard, whatever. Um, but I like to get, definitely um, get the ball to me quick um, and get those those hard yards, those those um, red zone yards. So, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Thanks, John. We'll go to Gene. Congratulations, LaVisca. Could you talk a little bit about, you know, there, one of the things that was mentioned in scouting reports is that you don't have this top-of-the-line speed. But it seems like whenever you do get a little breakaway in open space, you seem to play faster than what your 40 time is. Is that is that a, a fair assessment? Uh, first off, my 40 time, uh, I ran to my 40 time um, while well, I needed you had, surgery. You had an injury, that's right. Yeah, so I, I ran that while needing surgery. Um, so that was the hard, the hard thing and just not being able to, you know, just put in all the work I wanted to because it was mostly rehab rest the whole time prepping for the combine. Um, so that was the bad thing about that. Um, is that, uh, what, would, what would you say would be a little bit more of a true 40 time for you if you were perfectly healthy? If I was perfectly healthy, healthy, I really think anywhere between a 4-3-9, 4-4-4. Okay, uh, one follow up. You chose Colorado over schools like LSU and Alabama. Why? Um, I mean, making this decision was really a more of it just feel right. And also, I mean, Colorado used to be a team that was, like, very good. And it was just, like, if you watch the 30 for 30s, you see how much of, like, just how aggressive they play and just how good they were. So I just wanted to try to bring that back as much as possible. Um, that's really That's really it. Thank you. Thanks, Gene. We'll go to Demetrius. Hey, LaVisca, uh, congratulations. I just wanted to ask, how much did you meet with the Jaguars prior to the draft, and uh, how did those conversations sort of go, and, and what did they tell you they, they really liked about you? Um, I think I did meet with them at the combine, and I had just a lot of talks with the receiver coach. Uh, he said he just liked me overall. Um, he likes me as a player, and he likes how I, I just can move around everywhere and, you know, just dominate in every position. Um, we really didn't spend that much time together, though. It wasn't, like, a lot of time. So it was kind of shocking to be It was shocking, you said? Yeah, a little shocking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I appreciate it. All right, I think we have one more. John Shipley. Hey, LaVisca, congratulations to you and your family. Uh, you, your new wide receiver coach is Kenny McCardell. You know, he played in the NFL. How excited are you to play for an experienced guy like him? Um, very excited. Um, it's always good to be under somebody that got a lot of experience. So I'm just ready um, to get under there and get over there and learn and, and just get better every day. Thanks, John. We'll go back to Mark for one more. Yeah, one more. Um, you don't have any plans to shave off the dreads, do you? No plan. For, like for the NFL? Okay. No. Just no want to make sure. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Uh, we'll be in touch a little bit later about our next availability, but uh, let us know if you need anything else in the meantime.